Holland elected into the NHL Hall of Fame, um, you know, as a builder. Uh, a lot of people are giving Ken Holland a bad rap. You know, you might say that, you know, his final years in Detroit were a tragedy. He clinged on to a team past its prime and it caused lasting damage. Yeah, you might say, sad, um, you know, that is what he's remembered for. Uh, because before the tragedy, he was the best GM of that era. Uh, listen, a bad three to five year stretch after accomplishing what he did and where he won on multiple occasions does not just lose his reputation in what he accomplished. Uh, he accomplished more with the Red Wings in the last 20 years than any other GM has done in probably in the last 30. He definitely belongs into a hall, uh, you know, in the Hall of Fame. And, um, you know, I think he will do a fantastic job in Edmonton for years to come as well. You know, I think he's very worthy of it. Worthy. You know, Edmonton finally has some traction too, by the way. Holland has been dealt a horrible hand in Edmonton, and he is doing the best that he can. So, he's part of a team that brings in Scotty Bowman, Draps Fedorov, Lindstrom, Kov uh, Kozlov, Datsik, Zetterberg, trades for or signed Sanahan, Hall, Vernon, Rafalski, Chelios. Trange Eisenman to be a GM wins cups. Who could diss this guy? Who would you rather have than him? Hope all is well.